What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. I know I've been off the radar for about a week because that's I had like so many things to do such as editing for other people. But right now we're back and we're going to actually compare After Effects with Vegas Pro. So last week I compared Vegas Pro with Adobe Premiere Pro and see what it's different and what Vegas Pro can do, what you know Premiere Pro doesn't and also the other way around. So in this video we're gonna see what After Effects can do that Vegas can do and obviously just like the opposite. So but before we're gonna start off with today's video Video, I want to mention that last week or like two weeks ago I actually announced the winner of the Vegas Pro 17 giveaway that I ran now the thing is like I always give the winner I also tweeted out this yesterday but I also give the winner like two weeks to respond to the email with their shipping address but I didn't receive a response so far so I'm sitting here with this copy of Vegas Pro 17 that the winner obviously is not responding to so I thought why shouldn't I just reopen this giveaway this is not official yet I'm just going to give the winner like a couple more days to respond but as soon as these two weeks are over I'm gonna reopen the Vegas Pro 17 giveaway so everybody that entered and did not win will now have a brand new chance in order to obviously win this physical box copy of Vegas Pro 17 just a couple more days if the winner is going to respond within like three to four days obviously this giveaway is not gonna reopen but if I don't receive an answer you guys will get a chance to win this copy one more time all right guys so with that all of the way right now if you guys are excited for this video and if you want to see what's different between Vegas Pro 17 and After Effects make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and as always let's get started obviously right after the intro All right, guys. So Vegas Pro is, like I've mentioned also in the previous video, Vegas Pro is owned by Magix. Way back in the day, it was owned by Sony, but Sony didn't really saw a future in that video editing software. So they decided like, yo, let's just sell this software to a different company and then Magix bought it over. So right now, Vegas Pro is owned by uh, Magix and After Effects is obviously owned by Adobe. So right here, we can see a page where it says, watching videos and movies is a common thing which every human being is doing when he's free or when he gets tired. But what exactly is happening after the shooting, how the videos are edited and how effects are given is a different thing, but we need to know which apps they are using. In the field of video editing, many big brands are in the race. All of them are trying to prove them, them equally good and stable in the market. Everyone's upgrading themselves and trying to give as much as they can. Also, users are eagerly waiting what the latest they get. There are loads of software in the market which develops video editing software, but some doesn't meet the requirement. So before selecting any, we should go through the pros and cons of the software. Software. Out of all the software we're going to discuss, Sony Vegas and After Effects, discussing Sony Vegas versus After Effects, these are a different case as both works on a different platform. So it basically all comes down to that Vegas Pro is not really a beginner software anymore. Back in the day, it was actually, you know, compared to like Windows Movie Maker or like iMovie from Apple, but Vegas Pro got like way more complex and a lot more advanced, you know, including like automatic motion tracking, which is added over the past couple of years. But we have like stabilization tools in Vegas Pro. So it comes down that it's actually pretty, pretty similar to After Effects. Sony Vegas right now is now owned by Magix before it was developed by, by Sonic Foundry. In between 2003 and 2016, it was owned by Sony Creative Software. Where in comparison to After Effects, this software was developed by Company of Science and Art, where first two versions were released. After this was handed over to Aldus, which acquired by Adobe. So way back in the day, this is actually a really fun fact. Sony Vegas, it was first developed as an audio software, then it eventually it converted into audio and video from the version 2.0, which After Effects was developed for giving effects as Adobe has Premiere Pro as its video editing software. And that's a really good point. After Effects is specifically made for adding visual effects like explosions, overlays, tracking everything. And Premiere Pro is actually designed just for editing, for cutting, for, you know, like masking, all that. But when it comes down to actually like spicing up your videos, then After Effects is a really, really handy software. And this can actually be done in Vegas Pro as well. Vegas Pro is actually a software where you can go ahead and cut, uh, trim, what you can do in Premiere, and After Effects is just a part where you can add the visuals. Now, you can also add like visuals in Vegas Pro, and where you can get those visuals, this is not sponsored in any way, guys, but I just use this for like almost two years, which is Production Crate. Production Crate is a website that offers like tons of free effects. That's really, really important, guys. Free effects that you can download, or you can sign up for only $49 a year, and then you can get access to premium 
effects so i would suggest like if you want to use adobe softwares you can just go ahead and use after effects for effects and premiere pro for video editing and obviously you can just use production crate for effects vegas pro and also just use vegas pro uh, suite or pro or edit that version uh, for just regular cutting this software is incorporated with both editing and effects tools you don't have to go for second software for remaining work and that's a really really good thing that you don't have to you know install an external software uh, if you want to use effects in Vegas Pro. Okay so before we start in finding the key differences between Sony Vegas or regular Vegas Pro rather versus After Effects we should know that After Effects is completely a different software. It is a compositing software rather than editing. It is incomparable with Premiere and Vegas. In Sony Vegas language included are English, Spanish, French and Dutch but in After Effects languages include our English, Chinese, German, Indian, Japanese, Spanish, French, Russian, Italian, Dutch, Turkish, Swedish, and so forth. Like a lot more languages than Vegas Pro actually. Okay, so right here we have a comparison table. So it basically consists out of two columns where it's actually like the differences between After Effects and Vegas Pro. But this is mainly like the details, like when is Vegas Pro first released, who owns Vegas Pro, but not really specifically what you, what you can do and what you cannot do uh, with certain effects in comparison to each other. Okay, so there are basically a few features that they both have have in common. So when Vegas Pro was actually released, I think the first version of uh, Vegas Pro that was released by Magic was Vegas Pro 14. When Vegas Pro 14 released, it was pretty, pretty basic. It was just like a software. It didn't really have like all these new features that Vegas 16 or 17 has. So Vegas Pro 14 was just a regular software and it was just one version later than the Sony Vegas Pro 13. Not that many features were added back in the day. But now as Vegas Pro has also evolved along, we also have automatic motion tracking in Vegas Vegas Pro that also After Effects has. So if you would say a couple years ago, like I need something tracked, you had to go for After Effects. Vegas Pro didn't have that feature. But right now, Vegas Pro has automatic motion tracking in it. So you can automatically track stuff on your preview screen. It has automatic stabilization. It has Beezer masking. So it comes really, really close to After Effects. And I want to give a big shout out to Magix for like releasing so many awesome new features and accurate features in every single version they release. Because like years ago, you couldn't really compare Vegas Pro to After Effects because there were like the, the big the differences were major right now it comes pretty pretty close and that's really really awesome and obviously i get questioned all the time alex which software is the best for you or which software do you prefer the most well i would like to say a vegas pro because in 2011 i had like you know drum covers i was doing back in the day like that didn't publish right now but i had to edit these so i stumbled upon vegas pro a friend of mine you know who's in film school recommended After Effects or Premiere Pro. So I tried the trial version and it just did not work. But when I got, you know, Vegas Pro, I downloaded the trial. I just had like a connection immediately. Everything kind of fell into place. It was really, really easy to use with like the really simple user interface. And I've been using it ever since because I don't really see a reason for changing a software if you're just so comfortable with it. And that's basically why I prefer Vegas Pro. So if you ask me which software I would choose, you know, from, from Vegas Pro or After Effects, in my case, that would be Vegas Pro. If it's for you or for somebody else i would just basically pick a software that you're most comfortable with try them both out and i've tried after effects i've i've used it i've been there it just doesn't work for me i made tutorials in them obviously but they were like really really basic and i'm i think i made like 30 tutorials max out of after effects or premiere pro but i'm right now i'm over 400 tutorials in vegas pro and that just explains like how how easy it is to use and how accurate it is so guys if you want to pick up a vegas pro 17 make sure to check out the link in the description but if you say like dude these hundreds and hundreds of dollars i don't want to pay that for vegas pro at all times you just right now have like this membership that you can have for like not even 12 bucks a month instead of like this one-time payment if that payment is too much for you all right guys so before we're gonna end off the video i want to ask you guys what kind of features does after effects have right now that vegas pro doesn't have and, and that vegas pro should have in vegas pro 18 which can come out obviously maybe in a year from now or two years from now so let us know down in the comments guys your favorite feature as well of vegas pro and after effects so guys that's it for this video thanks so much for the continued support i'll catch you guys in a brand new video tomorrow as well and obviously i want to keep you guys updated on the giveaway since basically i'm just waiting for the answer of the winner but if i don't get a response i'm not just gonna sit here with this copy laying around i want to give i want to make somebody else happy so just a couple more days guys and then i'm just gonna you know pick a new winner but it can be the case that the winner is still gonna respond maybe like you know 
in a few hours from now or tomorrow or the day after. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. It is at Alex Halford for updates on the giveaway and new videos in general. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new video like I've mentioned. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in my next video.